So we're, we dive quite deep into the Michiette thing, which is how does an investor get into this space and financially and benefit and assess risk. Uh, I want to back up just a second and we'll just run through this very quickly. And again, these are going to be available to you all. But the basic toolkit for anybody and anybody that needs to know about this stuff or care about this is this is the sort of laundry list of basic things that you need in order to do a solar project. Let's roll on the slide next. Because I want to get to Tim's model before we run out of time because it's really quite exciting. Here's other important considerations, things like aerosols. You don't actually consider very much, but aerosols affect the yield of your power system. Okay, so if you're building in Los Angeles Basin, the yield rate is going to be much different than Pleasanton, uh, just because of the, the inversion. And there's more aerosols in the air, and so there's less direct irradiance, and it affects your yield benefit. So you always have to do microclimate analysis, site analysis. It's really important to do site visits. Um, you know, your O&M, which Ty had mentioned before, this thing has to work for 20 years in order for you to make your hurdle rate. So you have to really look at warranties on the props you're putting in the field. You have to really look at your service contracts for people to go out and squeegee the modules every X number of months or years in order to continue to get your yield benefit. Electricity is your rental income that you put on your real estate hat. So you want to maintain that. You maintain your buildings. You make sure the lights are changed and you vacuum the carpets and all that stuff because you want your tenants happy. Well, the electricity is your tenant. And so you need to make it happy by squeegeeing the modules and making sure everything works in the field. 